Well, the research we do is aimed at identifying effective interventions that can really make a difference, um, particularly to, to behaviours such as smoking, drinking, exercise, physical activity. What we felt was could we use peer pressure as a positive process, actually to use peer pressure to promote remaining smoke free as the cool thing to do. What did you do to make sure that the rest of your year eight group got the same knowledge that you had been given on the training? Well firstly we had to identify who are the most influential children in the year and we carefully researched this uh, over many years and we found a number of questions we could use to identify those children that the whole year group looked up to, respected, thought were good leaders. And then we really sort of adopted some of the same kind of ideas as is used in viral marketing in the commercial sector to use those influential children to disseminate messages through their social networks. In this case, not promoting a product, but promoting remaining smoke-free as the good thing to do. We demonstrated the effectiveness of the intervention through a large trial funded by the Medical Research Council. Uh, that involved 60 schools in Bristol and South Wales and was a real collaboration between the two universities of Cardiff and Bristol. And once we had completed the trial, we really wanted to make sure that, when the, that the intervention was implemented on a large scale basis and then it was implemented so that the effectiveness that we had found in the trial was replicated in real world implementation. The only way we felt that could really be assured was by setting up a spin-off company to support that process. Since the setup of the company in 2010, based on the successful delivery by our three early adopters, we've subsequently gone on to recruit the majority of the South West as a region, a number of primary care trusts across the Midlands, the North West and London, as well as more recently the Channel Islands. Experience and discussions with customers show that word of mouth is a key driver for sales because people find the program easy to deliver and it's cost effective. 2013 sees us in a position to recruit a new part-time CEO who will lead Decipher Impact to the next stage of development, identifying new products and services that we can deliver as well as growing our existing Assist customer base. Assist works because it's based on the assumption that if you replicate something successful, you'll replicate the results. We operate a licensing scheme for Assist so that we can control the products, the training and the quality assurance that run alongside the programme to make sure that the fidelity of the intervention is maintained. Well, Assist is hopefully the first of many interventions that through our research we find to be effective and we have a number of other trials ongoing at the moment within the research centre. And now we have set up the company, Decipher Impact, we really have a mechanism and, and the staff and resources to take other interventions that we find effective in the future and really maximise their impact on public health.